Darling, guess who's back from jail? Uh, they put that on Know Your Meme. So I have officially created a meme. And I've done that before where I've like done like a trend. But now that I'm bigger, it gets a lot more recognition, which is weird. But um, yeah, so we made a meme, guys. How do I feel about it? I feel like I just been doing the same that I've been telling you guys to do. And I've been doing the same that I've been telling myself to do. And it works because I freaking understand social media. And I try and give advice to y'all who want to blow up on social media and say like, I want to do social media. Do social. I'm like, okay, great. If a video works, do it a hundred thousand million times. What do you do? What are you doing? Diddly squat. I'm, I, you know, I, if it works, you keep doing it. All of a sudden I'm on know your meme. Woo so that was pretty juicy making those videos. I ended up, so probably the stats that I've gotten this past month or whatever it is, is um, I've probably gotten about 300,000 followers. Honestly, since, uh, no, honestly, no. I think I've gotten half a million, no, maybe, maybe a little under half a million followers this past month. And how do I feel about it? I feel epic. Why are people driving like this? I feel epic about it. And uh, I just kept doing it. Can you learn? Jesus Christ. Idiot. I want to just honk at this lady. I swear to God. But yeah, that's basically what's going on, guys. I made the meme and I posted it. And I, and I posted on Instagram because you guys know I hustle Instagram reels too. So now the Instagram is, is popping off now. Now I, I posted that thing of that meme. I got like 130,000 likes Instagram. I have never posted something on Instagram. I got 100,000 likes. Are you kidding me? That's a lot. Uh, but basically that's my life. Social media is my life and I love it. And it's the best freaking job in the world. And yeah, so now what am I doing? Now that I made the meme, is, is the job done? Job not finished, no. So you know what we're doing now is we are just recommitting to the sauce that gets us there. So the whole reason that we even post this freaking, the whole reason we're even posting any of this stuff is to, the whole reason we post on TikTok is to grow our platform on there, continue getting our name out there, and then continue to post on all the other platforms so we can make a bunch of money and grow the personal brand to be eligible for a lot of brand deals and make a ton of money, okay guys? I'm very transparent about what I like to do with social media. So I'm doing that and I got really caught up after, I don't, that's, I'm so dramatic, no. But I did kind of get pretty caught up from, uh, making that from for making those videos come like oh wow these are working like crazy i gotta keep doing these videos but while i was doing that i kind of let everything else get out of whack like those started popping off and then i was like i was on a call with tiktok like talking about uh they want me to go live stream more and then i was like on a call with snapchat and then i was just like kind of uh, and that was not all this is our thing these are all things that have been like in the works for a while now of me just like growing my personal brand. So like then starting to build those connections and then also thanks to my management. But like I'm having these like calls with people and I'm like, okay, all this stuff is great. And like, I'm kind of getting like, okay, the numbers are amazing right now. But I kind of got like sucked away by it. And I like skipped the gym like twice. Cause I was like, was like wanted to just go on live for like four hours and like all that stuff is good and great. And like, I should be doing that because like that is the main goal, right? But I just kind of let it get away from me for a second where I forgot to, I fo was focusing so much on the on my work and my career that like, I wasn't focusing on eating clean, eating well, reading, working out. I just kind of let my, I let my personal development take a break. And, I, and me saying that right now, I missed two days last week of, of, of working out. That's why I'm like, everything went to shit, blah, blah, blah. My life is a mess. Um, but it's, it's fine. But, um, yeah, uh, yeah. So that kind of got out of whack and you know, the main goal, I don't know. 
I don't even know where I'm going with this. See, this is the issue I'm having with YouTube now, is that I was posting every day. I'm like, damn, I'm kind of just going in circles sometimes. And I feel like the videos are so like, I don't want to just be saying the same thing in every video, right? Like I want to have something to say. But at the same time, it's like, it's great to be posting every day, right? But I was like, am I just kind of ego stroking here? So that's why I'm thinking about writing, uh, scripting my videos, which is something I've never done, but I think it'd be interesting for me to try. And also I do enjoy writing as writing as an outlet. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have to put this on a teleprompter to do, but basically I watched this one girl make a YouTube video. I wish I could say her name. She had like 30,000 subscribers and my friend Abby showed it to her, shout out Abby. And I just really liked this girl's video. I guess it was scripted. It was very cute edited. It was very chill. It was just like, if I could package my videos if I could package my videos in the way that could be more consumable, right? Like be more digestible, that would probably be great for my YouTube channel. So I was kind of just thinking, I don't know, it's a lot. But yeah, I'm just, I'm back focused. I'm, that's, what I, that's what this video is. I'm focused again. I am focused again and everything is gonna start working out and I'm, you know, working on some stuff in the back end and stuff is happening and blah, 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 that's great. But the end of the day is just continue doing, go. Obviously it's your turn to go. That is the ugliest Mercedes I've ever seen in my life. But obviously the end of the day is just to succeed at, succeed and build the things that I have complete control over. So like, me putting up numbers on TikTok, me putting up numbers on Snapchat, me being consistent on Snapchat and TikTok and Instagram and growing my following. Those are all things that are in my control that drive the boat, right? All these other things, like all these other glamorous things, like I'm trying to do this thing, like let me go on someone's podcast, like let me, those are all great things for me to do guys. But the main thing that pushes us forward, the main thing that is successful, that is to blame for 80 to 100% of the success that I get, it's all just me doing well on social media, making good videos and sharing them and having them blow up and growing my personal brand, right? That is the stuff that directly helps my life that I have complete control over. Me getting a modeling job, me getting an acting gig, me doing an audition, me doing, going on someone's podcast, me like, you know, picking up a phone call about some, I don't know, all that stuff is extra baloney things that aren't 100% in my control. So I am putting 100% of my focus into the things that I can actually control. That way I am, that way I can get rewarded for things that are, that way I can get rewarded for my input of work. So for, so basically what I'm trying to say is my life as like doing social media is basically like I'm in sales, right? Yeah, I'm gonna make no, like my results, if I'm working in sales, I'm making zero dollars if I'm not working, right? Everything's commission-based. Being an influencer is all commission-based. I, you know, you get what you put out there. And me focusing on, you know, all the other focus, pocus, baloney things are not the main selling things that aren't the main meat of what I actually do, which is just basically posting a lot. And I'm, I'm just kind of breaking it down just so I can explain it more. But um, that's a little bit of a thought we were having. So yeah, I'm refocused on the goals, on the, on the meat of what I'm doing. And I'm locked in on that. And I'm going to not worry about things that are out of my control and let those things happen when they happen and worry about that because ultimately, end of the day, nothing else happens if Carrington doesn't keep the Carrington ship going. Because all this other stuff is like great, like woo, all this other woo woo, like party, like modeling and this brand and blah, blah, blah. It's like, it doesn't matter. None of that matters as an influencer because if you can't do your job, you know, you can't put a bunch of numbers and like you suck at your job. That's the thing with these, like, you're gonna, like, you know, I'm going to beat you at your job, you know? So I gotta keep just doing my job. That's basically what I'm saying. 
and that's a little insight into my life and I'm trying to focus on what's good and yeah, I'm gonna try and start posting a lot on YouTube. The thing about YouTube is I've been making these videos, I just haven't been uploading them. I, I really haven't. Um, but yeah, that's it. I love you guys. Be the person which you had. Follow me on YouTube, social media device, link in bio. I love you guys. Bye.